Hello everybody, John here again from incommesh.com and I wanted to re record this super quick video to show you and tell you the Divi 4.0 update has occurred, which means that the Divi is no longer simply a paid builder but it's also a theme builder, which should mean that you have complete control over your entire website. Now, I've been very quiet about Divi recently. I've been talking a lot more about Elementor and Breezy and other page builders, but this was a piece of news that I really had to just share with you guys and show you what it means to me, because while I don't talk about Divi that much, it's because I've used it for years and I've got it, you know, it's, it's kind of like the bread and butter. It's the thing we always go to. It's what my wife and I use on her side of the business uh, so often. And it's always been a solid builder. Um, but it has been a little bit uh, fallen behind when it comes to the theme builder aspect. So that has been fixed. Now, before we go and change our entire business on that side of the house, I want to go ahead and I uh, pulled up a little website here that's just a little tester that I play around with and I loaded on an old version of Divi that we get to update now. So if we click over here, we will see that I am currently running on this version, an old version, a 3.2.1.1, and I have an available update up to 4.0. Now, one of the things that's awesome about Divi is I don't need to worry about how many licenses I have used on my account because I have an unlimited lifetime access license. So if you're looking at getting into Divi, I will be creating a full premium course on the Divi Builder, and if you use my affiliate link, it will be about a hundred dollars. Uh, that's kind of what I want to charge my courses, not too much. Um, I'll give you the course for a hundred percent free. There'll be links in the description below to sign up for Divi as well, using my affiliate link if you'd like. So let's go ahead and stop talking and click that update button and let the theme update. And while it's doing that, let's just kind of scroll through what I want to look at when we're playing here. So the first thing I want to do is create a custom header with Divi that I'll be use across my website. I also want to take a look at the footer sections, how we can customize footers and see if they have any demo templates already created. Here they have custom footer demo one, custom footer demo two. And so you can see this is a beautiful footer. I'd be very happy to use a footer like this. And I think at this point I should be ready to rock and roll. Still updating. So let's take a look here. Uh, let's see custom header. We can see custom header demo one with a logo in the center with different buttons here on the sides as well as oh wow this is a very powerful header it's got a double menu so a menu up top menu right in the middle here as well as a button on the side social this is huge this is a, uh, this would take a while to code on your own and custom header two we're not going to build all of these today on this video but just want to see what's possible here oh and look at this so I imagine this is actually built into the header. Normally with things like hello bars and pop-ups, you would use a tool like Thrive Leads or an Elementor pop-up, and that would be kind of not considered part of the header. It would actually be a pop-up there. Looks like Divi's going where this is actually going to be part of the entire header, which is, a, I guess it's a good way to get around the fact they don't have a pop-up builder yet, which I'm sure that's also going to be the next thing on their list. All right, I'm excited. We're going to roll into this. It has to be ready to update now. It's updated. Rock and roll. Let me just take a look. I don't even know what this website looks like anymore. Okay, so right now we have a very blank, you know, this is Divi 101, right? So we're going to come here and let's go and just kind of walk through this a little bit together. We have our Divi area. We have our theme builder as a new option underneath the Divi area. And so now we can add a header, a body, or a footer. That's pretty much what a website is, right? <laughs> That's a, a very blank template. So let's go ahead and add a global header. And let's just see if we add from the library, if it has some pre-made layouts, which it looks like it does. But I think the pre-made layouts are actually just their existing templates. Wah, wah. Not what you'd want to see. You'd want to see relevant ones. Okay. So let's go ahead and build a global header. Wah, wah. It's okay. It's, it's day one. I shouldn't be so hard on them. And we'll just start building, reload. All right. What's what's going on here? Let's let's get it going. Build a global header. Third time's the charm. We're okay. I still want to select a pre-made layout, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find anything there. Okay. So now we have a pre-made layout. And all right. Ooh, this is going to be a bit of work here. So let's say. I'm just kind of thinking through what layout I'd want for this to be. Let's just do a very simple, let's add our, if I search logo, I don't think that's going to work. It's been a little while since I've worked inside Divi like this, and this is all new to me. So we're kind of learning as we go. So I'm going to just add an image in here, 
And I'm hoping that I have the ability to add some dynamic content. Okay, so I can delete that image and then I have this database here, put our site logo up. Very good, that's just our classic site logo. And then on this side, let's do a menu. And I should be able to add a menu. And here's my main menu of just a whole bunch of stuff I don't really need. Let me dock my menu over here. Okay, so we've already built out a very classic menu. I should be able to change the size of this because that's a little bit too big. And just maybe make this, instead. Uh, that'll work. Module alignment to the left and like this module alignment should be over to the right. If I go to align, I should be able to align that kind of like that to make it um, spread evenly. And then I should also be able to reduce the column width here which should exist right about here. I, I am, honestly, I, I am quite out of practice when, with working with Divi. I should work on this more often. Okay, and then I can reduce some of my padding up top, which we don't need so much padding there. Boom. Okay, so this is a very classic header, right? Like This is what you'd expect to see everywhere. But what's fun is that's only the beginning. So let's see if we can implement that header, that hello bar that we saw earlier. So to do that, we're gonna add another section. Let's make this a regular section. And let me think how I want to do this. Let's do simply a one column and we'll just add some text. Or let's do like a, a blurb. Okay, so we have this blurb here. Let's design this and do a layout where this is gonna be on the left-hand side. And what I wanna do is pull this section all the way up above this one here. So now they're kind of working in tandem let's remove that padding move that padding and let's just get rid of that text altogether and say a new free theme builder okay now let's make this look a little bit more presentable let's come in and adjust this guy and change the image to this little baby <laughs> i was working on something else don't ask it <laughs> oh good times and then we can add a button here and let's just call it uh, to my website. All right. And then we could also add a button here. So for example, we wanted to maybe make this a two column layout. We could do such and such, add a button and create a very kind of conversion focused uh, layout here, which that'll work for me. Let's just say, get it now. Okay, and now, you know, any hello bar, we wanna have some distinguishment from distinguishment, is that a word? From the normal content. So let's just make this red and we should be able to take all the text. Does this have nesting? I'm not entirely sure here. We're gonna come to the text here and we're gonna change the color to a nice floating light color. And this, that blue on red is giving me a headache. So let's just adjust this very quickly. Again, let's just do color. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. I could, you know, be even more detail oriented and, and try to uh, reduce the, um, you know, make this all center lined. Right now there's a little bit of alignment issue, but I'm okay with this. What I wanna do is I wanna see if I can get that hover effect. So I wanna come here and I wanna do a hover. Transition delay, transition speed. Where, I know there's a, let's go to advanced, transitions. Sure, let's do an ease in. Give a little delay. Is that what I'm looking for here? Animation, that's what I wanted. I'm sorry there. So I wanna do like a bounce. And that'll be kind of like a hello bar. I'm gonna go with that. And then probably would make most sense to go ahead and align this. If I could spell correctly. Align that to the right. Align that to the left so it kind of works with the space we're working with here. Okay, so again, not the perfect layout. Like I'm not trying to win any awards here. I just really wanna take this thing for a spin. And what I can tell you already is that it's intuitive. It's the Divi Builder. It's what you're used to using. Um, you know, the Divi Builder does certain things wonderfully. Not everything, but I, I, for example, just working in it, having the green, the blue, and the, the ability to drag things around very intuitively, uh, Thrive Architect could learn a lot from the how intuitive this process is. All right, now let's just add a border to the bottom of this one here. So I'm going to type in the word border, and I can do a border style on the bottom, and I should be able to add a one-pixel border. 
boom and then that color is horrible so let's just do a quick little make it almost transparent very light simply showing that we're leaving the header and we're adding adding into the body content here okay so good enough very basic one but we've added in a little bit of animation a little bit of flare and now i'm going to leave it if i can see how to leave it i've saved normally there's like the save and exit button okay so i've made one let's see if it shows up because this is on the global Alrighty, so I'm going to go to a page here. Hmm. Let's uh let's see how we activate this here. So I probably this is default website template. I should probably go here on page attributes. Default template. This is a page. Now, if I view it, okay, let, let's start with a new template here. So we're going to say this new template we're going to use this on all pages in the home page. We'll create the template. And now we have this globe. Okay, maybe that was it. So I needed to maybe give it the conditions here. Save changes. And I'm going to cross my fingers. And boom, look at that. Look what we just did together. How nice is that? So now we have that hello bar here at the top of the page. No additional plugins. And it's, it's going to be a little annoying because it's going to do it every single time. But that is the effect we were going for. Fantastic. Another thing I want to show you, as I mentioned, not needing additional plugins, this entire website has zero plugins activated right now. This is simply the power of Divi that we're working with. So last thing I want to do while we're here together is let's go back to that theme builder and now let's add a custom footer and we'll build a custom footer just to see what type of effects we can get as well. This time I'm going to be a little dangerous and look for a pre-made layout. Don't think I'm going to see any. No, it, that's just the normal library. So here we are. So on this one, I like the footers that have a lot of content. So we're gonna have a four column area here. And maybe I want to add, let's do a menu. We can do a couple of menus on one side here. You can see it's trying to align it horizontally. I'd like to align it vertically. Left aligned, hmm. That'll be something that we have to cover another day. But that's that should be very easily doable at some point. Um, we also have the ability to add other things, not just menus here. So we can add a form or an opt-in, I think they call it, email opt-in. And just like that, we can say, let's get rid of that background color and remove that. We can change our text to being darker text. And now, and oh, we also probably should add some border there, right? So underneath this button here, we might want to add a border, fields, border style. Let's give it a one pixel border and let's make it not that harsh black, maybe something like, oops, something like this. That looks much better. Subscribe, boom. Now we have a subscription box and let's just get rid of that text. Subscribe for the latest. Great. And let's make this entire section here. Let's give this entire section a little bit of a light gray background, just ever so slightly gray. That'll work. And you get the idea. You can add an image here. I think I only have two images on this website right now. So let's add the second one. And you get the idea. So you can have unlimited design flexibility you want here, which I'm a big fan of, as you guys might know. And so we'll hit save just to give us something basic we're working with, hit the X button. And now we have our custom footer, which should show up on all home pages and all pages and the home page. So I'll hit save. And when I come back, as expected, we have our header, our custom menu, and our custom footer here. And you can do the same thing. And what's even great is you can have a, sp a specific header for your pages that's different from the header for your posts. So what you can do here is, for example, if on if you have two different categories, maybe you, you blog about WordPress plugins and you blog about brownies. I don't know, whatever the case might be, whatever else you blog about, you can have a specific opt-in that shows up as your header or your hello bar above 
those specific categories and then a different one that's relevant to the other one that can help you increase your conversions and it, this is pretty easy so that's it for me today guys i am super excited if you want to get your hands on divi now is the time to do it if you go ahead and sign up with incomemesh.com slash divi i will give you access to the course i'm building i've been waiting to build it until this uh release has happened now i'll go through it really learn it myself as I love to do with all these things, put together a really high quality premium course for you. If you want to get access to it for free, go ahead and sign up with my affiliate link in slash Divi. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm super excited. I'm going to go eat some food and then play with us some more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.